It's later this week. Central bankers will be gathering in Jackson Hole, where we're going to hear from Fed Chair Jay Powell on his economic outlook. Our next guest is warning that Washington's not serious enough about tackling inflation. Joining us right now is Joe Lonsdale. He is 8BC founding partner and a Palantir co-founder. Joe, it's great to see you this morning. You're worried that uh, maybe the Fed doesn't have the credibility that uh, that they want at this point? Well, good morning, Andrew. You know, I think I think the leaders in D.C. clearly don't have the credibility they want. You know, there's ways you can reduce inflation. You can raise rates faster. You could spend less. I think we have an Inflation Reduction Act, which spends more. It does a lot of things totally unrelated to inflation, and it does a lot of things to give money out that's going to increase inflation. But, and, you know, as a, as a technologist, I think you can also do, if you want to reduce inflation, is you can allow uh, the deflationary power of technology and competition to go into areas and to fix them. But that requires, you know, passing laws to go against cronies and to allow us to go into healthcare and into energy and to build stuff. And, and they're not doing that either. So when you think about what Jay Powell has got to do, what do, what do you want to see? You know, I, I think you probably need to raise rates a little bit faster, unfortunately. Uh, to, to, you know, if you're addressing But is that 75 basis points? Is that 100 basis points? Is that well, he, listen, telling he, the market the we're going to go 75, 75, 70? I mean, what are we talking about? Yeah, no, I, I think I think Jay, I think Jay may be on a good path right now. He's obviously was a little bit behind the curve. Uh, so I, I think I think the Fed itself is probably going to need to go a little bit further, a little bit longer. It started too late. I, I think that the bigger frustration for me recently is just, you know, if Congress is going to act, you can't just keep giving out more free money. That's how it got us here. You can't give out loans now they're not going to be repaid later. That's that's the definition of causing inflation. So I, I think I think Jay Powell was, was behind the curve. I think he's probably on the right path right now. I think I think the rest of the, the kind of guys in D.C. are not really doing their jobs. When you think about the world of venture capital, we've talked about a lot of companies that were funded in the last couple of years and, and people start to worry about the cost of capital going up and some companies that don't really have the runway. What happens to those companies? Are you thinking about that right now in terms of valuation? Oh yeah, you know so you know so we we both invest and we build a lot. And I'll tell you what, as as a builder of companies, it's been a very frustrating time in a lot of ways. The last few years, you have an artificially high price of talent, you have artificially high you know price to to create things. And so what you're finally seeing right now is you're seeing that some of the kind of more ridiculous companies, a lot of things called themselves Web three, were never doing anything economic whatsoever. They made no sense at all, and and you know they were raising ridiculous amounts of money at higher prices and and paying millions of dollars for top talents. And a lot of those people are now being redirected back towards more useful companies that are actually getting things done that matter in the economy. And so, so we are seeing a positive shift. I think you need a bit of a stronger recession to wipe out some more of the nonsense, and that's a, a, that would be a good thing for, for our space.